All right, guys, so we're in the middle of changing the oil. I already have the oil out of the bike. I have it on a little bit of a downhill here to drain the oil out of the engine. Um, it's been draining all night, so it should be good. Uh, I put a piece of tin foil over this and a rag so it you know, didn't drip all over. Why I was waiting because I did this last night and then I had to wait for the oil and the oil filter to come in and it just came in just now. So I'm not gonna show you guys the whole oil change because it's pretty basic. Like you take this fairing off, uh, and you take the drain plug out. It's an aluminum drain plug that's magnetic, so be very careful when you don't strip that thing out, especially when you put it back in. Also, I'm gonna show you a trick with the oil cap. Uh, uh, not oil cap, the filler, uh, the filter cap, because it's not your standard filter like on most bikes that you just turn with a uh, oil filter wrench. Uh, this thing is a little different, so I'm gonna show you the trick with that and give you a little bit of pointers, and that's, that's really it. You know, and then we'll go for a little cruise because you know honestly i feel like y'all should be figuring out your own oil change here but i will give you uh, some critical tips here and so the oil first off that we're going to use is motul 300 v 15 w 50 15 w 50 i swear i can speak uh, so that is really nice stuff this stuff is like lime green uh, we got four quarts of that that should do it should be plenty enough actually we should just barely get to the end of this one if, if my assumptions are correct uh, some of the things you're going to need 14 millimeter socket all right 14 mil socket uh, you're going to need an allen set i think it's the pink for the fairings so which would be a three uh, and then also a four because there are a few big ones so really kind of basic tools here that you're going to need you're also going to need a what size was were these i believe it was so that's a 10 I think it was an eight or a nine millimeter, which is this guy here. And these are, this is the trick I wanted to show you. This is the most important trick here. So these are your bolts that go to your, uh, your oil filter, okay? Now notice how they don't thread into the oil filter, but there are threads on that cap. And what those are for, and while I have a smiley face on there, by the way, so you know that it goes this side up. All right, and what that is, what those little threads are for is so you can bolt, you can thread a bolt into it like this, all right? Now you get two of them, obviously. You're going to thread that into it, and that's how you're going to pop that out. Don't try to pick it with a pick or any of that nonsense. That's, you know, you can do that, but it's stupid. Now, this thing is also aluminum, so you be careful with this. You know, it will strip. So... That's all you do. You get two bolts like this. I don't know the size. Just mess around with it and try to get the size. I've seen guys drill holes in this and put safety wire. I've seen guys get the TRD one that has the, the tube that you can just pull. This is how you can do it from Ducati. This is how they do it at the dealer and all across everywhere. All right. That's what a Ducati master mechanic will show you right here. That's how it's done. And that's why those threads are there. You put two bolts in it, pop it out. All right, really, really easy. It's not the same size as the these guys here, which actually thread into your. Those are gonna thread right into in, into there. When you put this in, that's where they'll thread into those two holes. All right, so that's how that comes out. Really pretty easy. Um, replace your seals. Your kit should come with new seals and a new filter. And your crush, your um, nut back here, which is right there, right? That nut right there is going to have a crush washer. You're going to replace that as well. Um, when you fill the bike up with oil, you can take this side fairing off if you want, but your sight glass is right there. You're going to have to have the bike standing straight up and on a flat plane when you're checking that. So once I get four, when I get three and a half in, I'll pull the bike uh, out to a more level area and straighten it out and see where I'm at and then fill it up right to the line uh, where I, where the line is supposed to be, the fill line, which is not to the top of the glass, but there's a line there. See that second? Let me see. see. So there's one line at the bottom. That's too low. That second one is where you want your oil. All right, so that's where you want it. After you get it to that line, you're going to run the bike for about a half hour, around 20 minutes or so. Get the oil splashed around in it. Don't, you don't necessarily have to ride it. I wouldn't ride it. Or you can, I guess, but... Get the oil splashed around and check it again and top that off because it's going to it's gonna splash around. The oil filter is going to soak some of that up. It's going to get all around and, and lubricate the engine. So that's what you're going to do. All right. So don't, um, don't forget to double check your oil after you've ridden the bike. 
or, or had it running for a bit, you know? Very important to do that because if you, if, you if you put the oil in it and then you don't, and actually make sure you tighten that bottom bolt too because I've seen guys forget to do that. Don't double crusher wash your bottom drain plug bolt either because it will leak. And this thing will leak if you put two washers on it. Do not do that. I've seen guys make that mistake because they think that they have the crush washer out and they didn't actually check. You have to physically go down there and check. Don't guess because you will forget that crush washer. And that's what that looks like right there. And it comes with a new one for a reason, so replace it. Uh, also, so when you run the bike for a half hour, double check your oil because it's going to be low again once the oil filter soaks it up. So that's what we're going to do. And I will see you guys when we get to that part. I'm not going to show you like dumping oil in the bike i mean it's literally the easiest thing in the world so i think y'all can figure that out when you put the filter in the new filter fill okay and by the way these are eight millimeters all right so that's what you're gonna do that do there don't forget to lube these seals up a little bit so just get a little bit on the and lube your seal and we're gonna fill this up a little bit just pop it in there and then we should be good to go to uh start filling it up Look at that stuff guys lime freaking green oil isn't that awesome <laughs> it's the best stuff on earth drink it don't do that don't don't drink it now both things the oil filter when you pop it in you'll feel a click and when you pop this in correctly it, i'm pretty sure this thing isn't symmetrical so i would always put an arrow or something indicating that it's right side up um but that'll also pop in really nice too don't force it in it'll go in and then a nice click like a pop and you'll know that that's in right. All right, guys. So I finally got them in. These are the Raven Moto Avari Blue Jean Armor Jeans. So these ones are really sick. I've been dying to get these for a while. And they've been on back order because y'all keep buying them. You guys are using my discount code. Hard City All Caps. Get you 10% off anything in uh, Raven Moto. Brings these jeans to $179. Are you serious? For a Kevlar lined armored jeans with a DuPont coating that... Our crash uh, proven. Like, I've crashed in these. They're awesome. These are their ashed ones. Those are the Onyx. This is their Lurica hoodie. Armored hoodie, back protector, shoulder armor. I mean, Raven Moto is killing it, guys. I love how clean. I mean, they have minimal branding here. Some people may like that. I like it for its motorcycle uh, nostalgia. Will you? If will you? If have you? If will you? Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm so excited because also... Outside, we got the Ducati Panigale V2 with the oil ready to go. And I just wanted to show you guys these sick armor jeans. We're going to go out there, finish the oil change. I'm going to show you guys some tips. And then we'll go for a little ride, show these jeans, go for a little rip. And then, man, these Raven Moto jeans are fire. They are fire. Look at the coloration in those. They're, they're going to look so sick, especially my Alpine Stars SMX V2s and my Alpine Stars jacket. I'm not going to rock the hoodie. It's too hot. But uh, yeah, damn. But at nighttime, boom, hoodie, <sighs> fire, reflective, sick. Let's go. All right, so these guys are in there now. Don't do them. Don't do one side really tight and then the other. Just kind of do it evenly. Um, there are torque specs on this. I don't know what they are. Uh, I just, I know um, what my, I know how to tighten a bolt. So I'm not going to worry about that. But if you want to, go ahead and look on the forums. You can easily find these torque specs for that. And uh, it's not going to be much. Use an inch-pound torque wrench uh, for a bolt like that, not a foot-pound. Uh, so be careful with that. But, yeah, so that's ready to go. I'm going to check my drain plug, and we can put oil in this right. thing. So like I said, guys, this stuff is uh, lime green. So it's not like – kind of looks like antifreeze, to be honest with you. And uh, believe me, it's not. This is really, really good oil. And that is uh, – Motul 300V15W50 synthetic 100% ester core. So this is really, really good oil. I don't think there's anybody who has a Ducati who doesn't put this in there. Some guys might use factory Ducati stuff, but uh, not I. Not I, I say. So we are just about done. We'll put these three, uh, these two more in there, and then we'll start checking the sight glass and see where we're at. And then from there, uh, start the bike, let it run through the system, and then uh, make sure there's no leaks. And we should be good to go. All right, guys, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but 
if you look at the sight glass, well, you might be able to. We are right about where I want to be, right? So make sure you have the bike level. You have to stand the bike up level to, to be able to see your oil, all right? So we're right about, I'm right about where I want to be. What I'm going to do now is I got just on, I got three, I got, let's see how much I got left here. Well, those are all empty. So I used three so far, uh, three and a half about, well, three and a quarter. So three and a quarter, and I still got, you know, a little over half of this one left. I'll let the bike settle for a half hour and then, well, maybe like 20 minutes. I'll check it again. Then I'll start it up and let it idle for 10 minutes. Let that oil get all splashed around and check it again. After that, if all is good, your oil levels are good, you're good to ride. Uh, but make sure you're checking the oil on this bike because it likes to, uh, it likes to drink all that oil. It doesn't like to like... Um, it doesn't like to be started after, right after an oil change, you know what I mean? So make sure you're checking it, like triple checking this, always. And um, that's it, then you're good to go. All right, so everything seems to be in uh, good order here. If I could find my key, here it is. I'm gonna start the bike up, and this is always like the most excruciating part, right? Cause this is where everything can go wrong. <laughs> You know, if you did something wrong, you're going to hear it. Well, not right away because, you know, but eventually it'll start smoking and whatever. But we know there's oil in it. We know it's not leaking. So we should be okay. Let's just make sure we're in neutral. And here we go. I can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to actually feel how it rides now that it's broken in. And we got fresh 300V 15W50 oil in it. Like this stuff here, man, this is legit, like the best oil that you can get. So it's very, pretty expensive too. So um, really interested to get on this thing. We'll get, on, we'll get the GoPro hooked up and I'll get suited up after I let it idle for about 10 minutes and then check the oil again. I'll probably just cruise it around the parking lot here real quick, um, just in first gear. Maybe I'll pop it in a second and then, um, just let it idle a little bit, get that oil all splashed around, and then uh, check that sight glass again. If it's low, I'll top it off a little bit. I'm expecting it to drop a little bit. It might not. Uh, if all is good, then I'll go ahead and put the uh, other fairing on, the lower belly fairing. I'm not going to put that on right now until I know everything is good to go. Um, but yeah. That's the uh, first service on the bike. Oh, the only other thing I have to do is get the service light cleared. So you're going to have that service light on there. I got to run it up to Ducati and they're going to clear that for me. And then November comes around. They're going to service the bike again. I may or may not have them change the oil again. I don't know. I'll see how it is. Well, I think I think I probably will because it never hurts to change the oil. Uh, so I'll probably do that and have them check all the critical, but I am going to go ahead and do the chain If I do need to I think that my chains okay right now Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I have to check the specs on it. It's right there I just got to kind of do that uh, With the chain here you got your pinch bolts here that you're gonna loosen and Then you got you need a spanner wrench and you gotta you gotta get in there and do that But I need a bike stand to do that and I don't think, I don't know if I'll have the bike stand by the time the first service. So whatever comes first, I'll uh, either, I'll do the chain myself or I'll let Ducati do it. But yeah, man, everything sounds good. No leaks. Take it for a little spin around the parking lot. I am looking better than I've ever had. I'm feeling better than I've ever had in my entire life i'm just flexing i'm just flexing at this point no, there's no reason for me to do so this. unfortunately there is going to be no riding in this video i know i said that we were going to go for a little rip unfortunately i didn't plug the mic in to my um mic adapter and you can't hear a word that i'm saying over the freaking exhaust on this bike um but it feels really really good it shifts smooth everything's operating really nicely we just need to get that service light cleared at the Ducati dealership, not a big deal. I'll do that next week. Uh, but yeah, the bike feels awesome. So what I'll do is tomorrow I'll do an actual moto vlog and I'll take the bike out and we'll talk about it. 
Um, I mean, you could probably talk about this bike for days, but we'll talk about motorcycling, that bike or whatever I come up with. But um, yeah, it, and we're gonna take it up to Valente. And this is a really, really twisty uh, road. Sorry, my hand hurts. Um, so yeah, that should be awesome. Unfortunately, sorry. This video has just been too long anyway. So just the oil change, pointers, and I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely follow the link for Raven Moto. They are selling out of pants. I mean, they email, we don't have pants. We're getting more next week. So you guys are selling them out of pants. I love that. Thank you so much. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, like, share, subscribe. I mean, that's really, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, thank you all so much, and I'll see you. Peace.